everybody. Hello, beloved. God bless you. We are at our healing service tonight, Miracle Healing Service, and we're excited and expectant for what the Lord has. We are just really looking forward to um, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in each of our lives. He's already here, of course, but in a manifested way um, in his goodness and glory. I just wanted to give a couple announcements. I'm Robin Ace. I'm a prayer minister here at church in a council center, center. And I just wanted to let you know a little bit of housekeeping. A couple of you I know that haven't been here. So in the back is our restrooms and um, downstairs is just like a Another place sometimes people need to take a time out for a second and come back up if, you know, you find yourself in that. I'm sorry, one of my friends here laughed, so uh, it threw me off, but and then you can come back up if the Lord's just kind of working in your heart. Um, and we're going to uh, just let the Holy Spirit come tonight and worship and let him reign. Um, uh, Precious Michelle is going to lead worship tonight. She is a beautiful woman of God. Uh, filled with the spirit and I love how she leads us in strong worship and um, if there's oh if you are new we do have visitor cards and they are over there um, on the table and then you can turn them in when we take the offering or to me personally either one okay so God bless you guys as you just give uh, worship the Lord tonight and give your heart in um, just as the Holy Spirit moves you amen Amen. Hallelujah. I know a number of people from Pittsburgh still aren't here that are on their way, but we're going to start in just a few minutes. It's really great to see everyone. Praise God. I tell you, there's this, uh, whoo, I tell you, God's up to something. Amen. I guarantee you that each of us here are going to be changed tonight. Uh, really, I just, uh, whew, I just had kind of an experience with the Lord just about an hour and a half ago, and just, uh, it's going to be very, very powerful. And uh, it's, it's going to be very, very powerful. Glory to God. We'll be talking about the, the power of God, the, the anointing, the, the oil, of gla the, just the, the glory of the oil of God and what that entails. I believe that not one person here would not be touched in a way that the, the enemy is driven out and God manifests who he is. I am very, very confident right now. I mean... I tell you, I was so excited, I forgot the anointing oil, so I had to run home and get it. So let me show you this. Are we on? I don't know if we're live yet, but glory to God. So I come back, dumped out water, and filled this baby up. Amen? All right? So glory to God. We are ready to go. I was so excited. God, God just came to me in a very powerful way regarding the, the, the anointing oil. And I, I, was, I just had a little bit of a headache. I mean, I, I dumped this on myself on my way in here. For real. And I feel great. But uh, I want to share a few things before we enter into worship. Uh, this is a healing service, of course. And uh, we have a number of people uh, watching by live stream. And just many, many people. Uh, probably 100 people at least. That I, I, people called and called and called and called. From different states and uh, different places. And uh, we want to welcome you in Jesus' name. There's no distance in the spirit. But for those of us here, you know, the healing anointing is an amazing thing. We know an evangelistic anointing like Billy Graham had and his son has now. Glory to God. You know, Reinhard Bonnke, <clears throat> who's going to be with the Lord. It's an awesome thing. You know, the last time that Billy Graham was in Pittsburgh, there was just a spirit. I mean, people, uh, just a, a spirit of conviction, an awesome spirit. Man of God, you know, just caused so many people to be saved. The evangelistic anointing, it's amazing because it's one of the main attributes of God, amen, as Savior. Manifested, amen, in the gifts that he gives to his church evangelistically. The intercessory anointing is amazing when people come together for a cause, no matter what church you're in, and man, we're crying out to God, <clears throat> whether it's for revival whether well, it's for a situation in our area where we need God to come in a mighty way. And there's an anointing that comes that you just know that God's going to shake the place and, and things are going to happen. Amen? So, virtually with every attribute, there's, there's a different anointing. So we have, again, evangelistic meetings. We have intercessory meetings. Sometimes we tell, there's an anointing of worship we're going to enter into tonight. But there's something, there's a delivering anointing. But there's something special about a healing anointing. 
I can't explain it, but I sense it right now. And uh, Kathy and I have been in uh, Kathy and Coleman meetings different times. You know, and that anointing was so present. Glory to God. But I sense it here tonight. And I believe where the anointing is, there's liberty. The Spirit of God is the anointing. And He is here to heal through Jesus to the glory of the Father. So I would encourage you, whether it's when we start worship, glory to God, someone could shake your hand, or maybe it's during the offering. Obviously, when we teaching the Word, I'm trusting the Holy Spirit to fall. When we enter in to receiving, being anointed with oil, <coughs> and, and glory to God, there's people helping me minister, and they may have a, a special scripture verse for you. Whatever it is, when it's anointed, it produces life. It was the anointing that raised Jesus from the dead, the spirit of glory, Romans 6, 4, Romans 8, 11. So I am very, very encouraged right now. I'm very confident, not me, but in the anointing. Not in anyone here, but in the anointing. Whew. So I want to encourage you doing glory to God. Even right now during the announcements. Holy Spirit, we just thank you for being here in the name of Jesus. And I know right now there are several people with uh, cancer. They're unable to be here. One person just called me. They, they just can't come. Whew. Someone from New Jersey wanting to come and they can't come. Father, we receive even right now this anointing that we can sense and perceive. Even going out to them right now in Jesus' name. Lord God, we receive you taking over. Healing anointing take over by the Holy Ghost. By you, Holy Spirit. We vow to give you glory, honor, and praise in the name of Jesus. We say yes and amen. Can you say this? With this, this can you just speak this out? Say, I say yes and amen. I say yes and amen. To the healing anointing. To the healing anointing. That's here right now. He's here right now. I will be made whole. I will be made whole. And those whole. I'm standing in the gap for. And those standing They will be made whole. For. They will be made whole. For where the anointing of the Lord is. For where the anointing of the Lord is. There is liberty. There is liberty. I say yes. I say yes. And amen. And amen. To the healing anointing. To the healing anointing. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. <sighs> Glory so to God. God. Glory the to Holy God. The Holy Spirit is holy and he needs to be welcomed, and we just welcomed him big. He's a big God. Don't worry about your situation. You're here or you're listening, and you're watching on purpose. And God is not done with us yet. He's not done with you yet. He's here for you. He's not against you. Stand if you can if you're in the house. God is so good. All the time.
flaws, Lord, you seen them all. Can you still call me friend? How about that? Because the God of the mountain is the God of the valley. And there's not a place your mercy and grace.
our God is greater.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just worship him. Forget about yourself. Just worship him. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory unto thy name. Oh, he is worthy. You're worthy, Lord. Oh, Lord, you're worthy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to thy name. Yes. Oh, say, come on, they say. Oh, Lord, we bow before you. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, my, my, my. Just sustain this attitude of worship. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you have something? Hallelujah. Just stay in worship. Just stay in worship. Hallelujah. Spirit of God's all over you. You do. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yeah, can you come up here? Hi, the Spirit of God is all over Lazelle. I think she has something. So I just want to thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How we bless your name, oh God. You are so worthy. Worthy of all of our praise. I just declare and decree to the atmosphere that there is nothing that will happen. Every assignment against this meeting tonight is null and void. It is stamped with the blood of Jesus where it says, no, no, you cannot come in. And we release what God is doing in this place through this man of God, through this woman of God, and anything else. And, oh, my, 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 my. Ho, oh, oh. ho, Father God just wants you to know that you are not here on accident. This is not an accident that you decided to come on tonight. <laughs> there is a word that will go forth that will set some free. There is a word that will go forth that will cause bodies to be healed. All right, all right. There is a word that will go forth that can cause salvation to spring up and come alive in someone. Yes. Whether you are watching online or whether you are in this room, there is something that God has on his calendar with your name written on it. Oh, your name is written on it, not on accident, but he has an appointment set up for you on tonight. We just bless you, Lord. Thank you. You. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. 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 Just wait on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we, uh, we, we do not take it lightly to come into the Holy of Holies. Father, forgive us if in any way we have been too familiar with your glory in the sense of just minimizing just the greatness of who you are. Father, we're here to see you. Yes, Lord. We're here just to let you go. Yes. Lord, as vessels of honor, every person here, Lord, we just, we bow before you. Yes, Lord. We bow before the name of Jesus. We bow. Lord God, they are constantly saying, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the Lamb of God. Lord, that's not vain repetition. That's glory repetition. Lord, we might be there the first 10,000 years just weeping for glory. Yes, amen. Glory to God. There is none locking under thee. There is none locking under thee. 
you, my Satan. Come aside. Oh, Jesus, thank you so much for the privilege to be your child. I feel I have a word for someone. It might be for yeah. you. It might be for me. Yeah. But there's a craving in your heart. There's a craving in your soul. You want to see more. Mm. There's a scripture verse. Not sure where it is, but I know it's in there, and I know it's in the OT. Mm. I would have despaired unless I knew that I was going to see God in the land of the living. Amen. What you haven't seen yet, you crave for. You oh, want amen. that. That's a holy craving. Amen. You are embarking upon a new experience because yes. God the Holy Spirit can only move when we let him. <sighs> Holy Spirit, help us to perceive that we will see what we want to see, miracles, yes. Yes, salvations, yes, provisions, yes, God. where we live. Oh, Jesus. Yes, yes, Lord. You know, I had a, I received a text from uh, someone, they have cancer, they can't be here tonight. And they, they quoted in the text the same verse that Pastor Kathy just shared. And they said, I will live and not die. I will see the Lord in the land of the living. So I know that's for, for you because I know you're watching, but it's for others as well. Father, we thank you that we will not be denied because the blood has been shed and the Spirit's been given. You can be seated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, the Lord is here. Amen. He really is here. We're going to uh, receive an offering that, co that covers the expenses of the meeting. Also, uh, a portion of the offering we use to, we have uh, a counseling center, uh, a ministry's counseling center. We deal with a lot of kids with been abused, trafficked, and beyond. And uh, if you're writing a check, you can write out the ABBA Ministries, and we'll send you a tax deduction. And, uh, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. John, I'm going to ask you to help me with it, okay? But let's pray right now, okay, if you can, any way you can, Help, I guarantee you what you give will be given back. Oh, yeah. Running over, it really, really, this is good ground because, only because of Jesus. So, Father, we just thank you for the privilege to sow into you. Yes, Lord. To sow into you. The healing anointing. Yes, God. To sow into life where there's death. To sow into resurrection. Yes. <sighs> Father, we loose that in Jesus' name. As we sow into it, I really get that you're sowing into life for yourself and others in Jesus' name. And, and the anointing unto you. Lord, we just give you glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, John. As we're receiving the offering, I told you I know it in myself. I really did. I got oil all over my forehead. I really do. Thank you, John. Uh, we're just going to have one testimony. So, Heather, you can take your time, okay, and share. I've asked Heather to share. These guys are, I'll say they've come up from Pittsburgh, and uh, their son has started a church. Jordan, it's really taken off, amen, in the yes. McKeesport area. And uh, I tell you, God's doing a lot in their lives. And uh, I wanted Heather to share something that her own testimony and just share some things going on. I think it'll be an encouragement to you, and then uh, we're going to get into the Word. Amen? How many can sense Jesus? Amen? Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Whew. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Take your time. Yeah, up here. So good. Hey, Kathy. Kathy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Wow. The anointing so strong in here. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Well, as I um, would like to share a couple of things with you, I met Pastor Mike and Pastor Kathy in 2012, and I just fell in love with them. They are just so full of Jesus that you can't <laughs> help but just, you know, stand in touch with them. And I met them at a very difficult time in my life. I was actually very sick when I met them, and my husband was also very sick. And a lot of you that have been coming here don't know that I was sick, but I was always coming for my husband because it was more important to me to get him healed than myself. And um, I was diagnosed with multiple cirrhosis in 2012. It's an incurable neurological disease. I have never took one medication. 
the multiple sclerosis has never touched my body. It has been, whoo, whoo, hallelujah, whoo, hallelujah, whoo, hallelujah. God is a good God. He's a healer. You take him at his word, and he's a healer. So I met them through that horrible time, and they walked me through, and they taught me that Jesus is your healer. You don't have to come into agreement with this sickness. So here I am. Fast forward. This May will be 10 years, the end of this month. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. In the midst of this, of me being sick, my husband got sick. He was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. It's an incurable disease. Uh, you know, they say you'll um, die within two years. Whoa. Jesus. Whew, I'll try to get through this. Um, the doctors told us that, you know, most people do not live past two years, but the expectancy is five years. So after five years, you will not live. We just sold, we just saw the surgeon because he doesn't have a stomach and he doesn't, he's missing half esophagus because of the cancer, but we're believing God that that's coming back. Yeah. This July, the doctor said to me, well, how long? We just saw them about two weeks ago. It's a new surgeon. We've been, you know, trying to seek out, you know, everything in the natural along with the supernatural, putting them together and God's been doing a work. And the surgeon said, how long has he been like this? And I said, 2011. He said, wait a minute, that's 11 years. 11 years. They gave him two years to live. It's been 11 years. Pastor Kathy and Pastor Mike had been to my house and when he was going to die, when he was on life support and there was like, they called and they kept in touch with us and they prayed him through. And I would call Pastor Mike and Pastor Kathy and I would say, I don't know guys, this doesn't look good. Do you think he's going to be okay? Because you know, when you're in that, sometimes you need other people to hold your arms up because you can't see past your circumstances sometimes, and that's okay. So I would call them, and they would pray the power of God would hit, and he'd be fine, and everything would be okay. And, you know, it's, this has been going on and going on, and so now it's time. We're believing for the stomach and the organs to grow back in Jesus' name. But it has been so amazing. It's been a journey. Um, so through all this, um, Pastor Mike had prophesied over me several times over the years. Now, you've got to remember this is going back since 2011. And he prophesied over me, you're going to have a women's ministry someday. You're going to help a lot of people. God, nothing will be wasted that you have been through. You will have a healing women's ministry. And <laughs> the Lord has just birthed this three months, four months ago. And I have already started the women's healing ministry. And we've been gathering every month. And, you know, as I was coming here, you know, it's amazing because just sitting here, you know, sometimes you don't even need anything for yourself. You just come and you sit. The anointing of God it just, it's, it, you know, it transfers on you. It's like impartation. And Pastor Mike, you know, every service I've been to, he always has a book of like words of knowledge and he'll say, someone here has this, someone here has that. So in my meetings, I've been doing these meetings and before I even get there, the Lord's been showing me like all these things. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't say that. I can't say. And so I was like, okay, God, I'm going to, I'm just going to do it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So my very first meeting, I went in, and I was like, okay, well, I'm not sure, but I feel like the Lord showed me this. I said, there's someone here. You have been date ripped. You were in college, and the, and the Lord says you've been labeled all your life. God wants to set you free. She came up. There was another woman who was contemplating suicide. The Lord showed me that. She came up. And it was like all these words, and I was like, oh, my gosh. After the service, I realized, I said, Lord, I got that from Pastor Mike going to his services. Impartation from being under him all these years. And that imparted to me. So, I mean, I've gotten so much out of this ministry over the years that God, he is the healer, you know. So now I don't go by what I see. I see what I believe. I only see what I believe. I don't see my stomach without a stomach. I see him with the stomach in Jesus' name. Because if Jesus says he'll do it, he'll do it. Amen? Amen. Amen. So I hope you were blessed because I have been so blessed. I'm so excited about tonight. I know I'm talking super fast. I'm sorry, but I am like... I'm so wound up. I'm so excited. I feel such an excitement in my spirit. Like, I just feel like there's going to be notable miracles tonight. I just feel that so strong. As, as you went up and gave that word, I just kept hearing notable miracles. Oh, I'm excited. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I think she had like first meeting 25 women or something like that coming. Glory to God. <clears throat> You know, when Jesus is doing it, it's, it's real. Amen? Amen. Glory Amen. to God. You don't have to conjure it up. It just comes. And uh, well, I, I tell you, I sense anointing to go with that so strong with that yeah. word that Lazelle had. Just very, very strong. But I don't know if I've sensed anointing like this in a long time. I was thinking we were down in Sheridan. There's a young, I'm about 11 years old, so how he was. Israel's name, and he got, he was totally blinded, and he received his healing, and uh, <clears throat> had a similar day, there's, a, there's some warfare, and wasn't sensing stuff, and then anointing just, you just have to keep pressing through, that's all, yes. you know what I'm saying, just keep pressing through, and all at once, bang, the anointing came, just like it was down there, and uh, in fact, it's even stronger tonight. 
Glory to God. I, I really do believe that even if <clears throat> someone came in and really did, they needed raised up from the dead, God, God's here to do that. I really do. I really, really do. Glory to God. So, Amen. <clears throat> so we're so glad to everyone's here. I, I really appreciate you coming in the sense that, you know, we're the tabernacle of God. And a lot of times, you know, the anointing will come and someone will get healed. Maybe there's someone in the back just has faith and, and, and believing. And, you know, we have people here that just set a time, in part time and seek God. For I, I, We've been prophesied uh, that, you know, this church has a healing anointing. We've been sowing to that. And I just saw uh, much bigger meetings than just, uh, man, I'm not, like a revival type of thing. We'll see it even this summer. So. Stay tuned. We'll, we'll stay in touch with you. I, I don't know. Sometime in June, we'll have another meeting. There's a sense of being very big. And, uh, but God's very big. Amen? Yes, okay. Well, well, Father, in the name of Jesus, we uh, I've already submitted ourselves to you. Um, God, we just want to give you the agreement you need. Be vessels of honor so you can flow through. Yes. So, God, you can just show off who you are. Yes. And really, basically, that's what it's about. Yes, you know, God, just letting... And having environment, humbling ourselves before you yeah. under the mighty hand of God, which is amazing. And uh, just believing that you are who you are. Yeah. And we just give you praise and worship in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. It really is good to see everyone. Uh, <clears throat> this, is, this message is entitled, More Than You Need. It's from Ephesians 3.20, that God is able, yeah. not just able, but willing to do exceedingly above and beyond whatever we can ask or think. Amen? I think so often, and I've been in this place before, we're trying to get God to do something which is ridiculous because he's already done it. We just need to agree that he's going to do what we need him to do in the context of manifestation. But we're like, you know, it's like he can just, we're trying to get him just to pour out what we need, but God is infinite. and You know, he's mighty. And he is more than enough. And I believe through the word that we're going to share now for a little bit that God's going to help us just enter into a spirit of faith and just receiving, okay? Yeah. And I just want to say this, you know, every person is so precious to God. Isn't it amazing? Yes. He's omnipresent. He's able to relate to you as an only child. I mean, the Bible says that he loves you as much as he loves Jesus, his only begotten son, the Father. And John, that's John 17, 23, and John 15, 9, Jesus said, man, I love you as much as I love the Father. How much does Jesus love the Father? He says, I love you as much as I love the Father. All right, so Holy Spirit, we give it to you. Uh, go with me, Wood. We'll start out with Mark chapter 6, verse 6. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. I, I am excited. Mm, can't wait to pray. Glory to Jesus. Seriously. Amen. Mark chapter 6. Uh, man, there's so much. Let's start with verse 7. And it says, uh, Mark chapter 6, verse 7. And he called unto him the twelve and began to send them forth by two and two and gave them power over unclean spirits. Unclean spirits are, they're just, they're unclean and some of the most difficult spirits to deal with and the natural, but they're no match for God. And I want to encourage you. I know some of us are here and say, I want to be a vehicle of God and, 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 and preaching the gospel, healing the sick, bringing deliverance. Well, the Bible says the laborers are few. I'm one of them, yes. So my gosh, every one of us here qualifies. Yes. So don't, do not disqualify yourself. Maybe you messed up in the past. Who hasn't, right? Yes. Maybe you're struggling with something. Who, who doesn't struggle at times? But we win. Amen? Yes. So I want to encourage you. God is raising up an army. We don't, we don't have time to wait five years. I'm going to be honest with you. We don't have time to wait. When the Bible says it's white in the harvest, means it's, it's being overripe. Amen? All right. Glory to God. If he gave them authority, he gave us authority. If these guys can enter in, we can enter in. Because it's not about them. It's not about us. It's about him. Amen? All right. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils. And they anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. Yes. Now, oil, it represents Holy Spirit power. Yes. I was praying with one of our intercessors today, Betty, and she said, well, I saw, you know, I, I, I shared with her something. And she said, yeah, I saw power. Shared with a lot of people today. And uh, Kathy and I, 
different people had called me and had brought me their words of knowledge and different things that, that I'll share. Kathy and I are praying about this for about a half hour. And so she says, you know, as we're, we're praying, she says, I see like in the Wizard of Oz. I'm thinking, here we go, Wizard of Oz, right? Okay, I see the Tin Man. I'm thinking, Lord Jesus, help me. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord's, you know, and she says, I see this thing of oil and just being squirted into him. And everywhere there's something upright, him coming right. And God said, there's your confirmation. Amen. Glory to God. Amen, for real. I mean, what's the chances someone sharing you about the Wizard of Oz? Come on, the oil and the tin man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? That's a confirmation. Amen. <clears throat> but uh, it's Holy Spirit power. If you go with me to Isaiah 40. We want to focus. We want to focus on what we should focus upon. If the Spirit of God's the one to the sacrifice of Jesus that's going to manifest the power of the glory of Father, I guess we should, spoke, we should focus on the Holy Ghost right now. Yes. Amen? Yes. Isaiah chapter 40, <clears throat> verse 12 says, Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand? <clears throat> Meted out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure. <clears throat> and weighed the mountains and scales and hills in a balance. Who has directed the spirit of the Lord, the Holy Ghost? Or being his counselor has taught him. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. You know, glory to God. God told me, he said, when you know people in that, one drop of oil can destroy cancer no matter what stage it's in. Oh, yes. Whoo, Jesus, come on. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. And are counted as the small dust in the balance. Behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. To whom then will you liken unto God? You know what? Man, that's what's going through my spirit. I think we're singing that song, Who's Locking Under Our God? I heard people here, and I heard, I heard people say, Who is locking under our God? That's the theme tonight. Who is locking under our God? Yes, nobody. Woo, Jesus. What likeness will you compare unto him? It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth. This was, this was written when they thought the earth was flat. They never read this verse, evidently. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Woo, just, just continues to talk about the Holy Ghost. He said, he will blow on him the rock of God, the breath of God to bring life, bring destruction and life. Shh, glory to God. Man, and see, this is the context that we quote all the time, you know, about you know, the wings of eagles mounting up, but it's in this context. He gives power to the faint. And to them that have no strength, he increases strength. Do you have cancer and can't even get out of bed? This is for you. It's for all of us. Yes. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord, let's talk about the Holy Ghost here, yes. shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as of eagles, shall run and not be weary, shall walk and not faint. Yes. Mm. Glory to God. Whew, all right. There's so much here. All right. So we see Holy Spirit. Let's just look at, like in Genesis 1. See, I want you to get this in your mind. So when we know you with oil, man, you're just ready to receive. The Father is apostolic, if you would. He has in his heart, he initiates things. Like even right now, even Jesus, Holy Ghost, they don't know when Jesus is coming back. The Bible says that. It's in the Father's heart, right? So the Father has things in his heart, especially the, the names intrinsic to God. For example, the name is healer. It's in his heart. Jesus sees it because he's so close with the Father. He speaks it, and Spirit of God confirms it, manifests it. So in creation, the Father had, he's the architect. He had everything in his spirit. His spirit is so strong. Oh, my God. He had creation, the galaxies. In his spirit. Woo. They consisted in his spirit. 
But to get his, uh, the spirit in the manifestation, glory to God, Jesus had to speak what was in his spirit. See, somebody has to see what's in the heart of God if the heart of God's going to manifest. That's why the devil does everything he can to negate and minimize the name and say, yeah, he doesn't do this anymore. He's not like that. Because if you don't see what's inside his heart, you're not going to be able to speak what you see and it's not going to come to pass. And that's why the church is in such a problem in the area of healing. We see forgiveness, but we don't see healing. We see forgiveness, and that's good, but we don't see deliverance. Glory to God. So Jesus saw into the Father's heart every star what it was to look like. He saw in his heart, man, creation, the animals, the fish, the oceans. And then he spoke it, the Bible says in Hebrews 1. And guess what? Holy Ghost manifested created everything that was in the Father's heart that was spoken by Jesus. Woo, glory. And that order is, that's what we're going to enter into tonight. Glory to God. Man, we're going to speak what's in the Father's heart. We're going to speak Rapha. We're going to speak Rapha with the person with cancer. We're going to speak Rapha, the Lord of healeth thee, with the person with bipolar. We're going to speak Rapha. You know why? Because we see it through the word of God. We're going to speak it. See, now we're going to speak it. Jesus speaks it through you, through me. But it's the Holy Ghost that confirms it. He will confirm it. Oh, glory. He will confirm it to glorify the blood. He will confirm it. He lives to confirm the name that's spoken. Amen. All right, let, let's just look at, uh, you know, glory to God. But the oil represents the virtue of God, the glory of God, the power of God. In Exodus 7, we won't go there right now because of time's sake, but you, most of you know the story. Man, um, they went before Pharaoh, Moses, and Aaron. And um, so God told uh, he said, tell Moses, to, he told Moses, tell Aaron, throw down your rod and it's going to become a snake. The reason he did is because the snake, the python was one of the main things that they worshipped in Egypt. So he's saying, all right, you got the counterfeit. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, he said, throw it down, it's going to become a snake, right? And all the magicians, the wise, so-called wise men, the sorcerers, they do the same thing. So now there's like a hundred, over a hundred snakes of Pharaoh. There's one snake of God. And, and again, we need to, when we read something, we know we, we need to really believe it. I mean, if I throw my pen down, it becomes a kitty cat and starts to meow. Amen. Are you guys impressed? You know what I'm saying? Seriously. I mean, I'd be impressed. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Seriously. Amen. So, but yeah, so they're like, Aaron's probably like, what's up with this? But you see, the oil of God himself was inside that snake. It was birthed through the Holy Ghost, and it ate up every one of those other snakes. Yes. And you see, the oil will eat up cancer cells. It really will. The oil will eat up bipolar. The oil representing the power of God is a two-edged sword. It will destroy, it will eat up, it will devour. In Isaiah 41, the Bible says, mm, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and I said, see, he said, in our, in our own strength, we're nothing. But he said, I will make you a threshing machine with sharp teeth that will be able to thresh mountains and just make them like nothing. That's what the anointing, that's what the anointing does. This is what, God, see, the, the anointing is when the virtue of that which God consists is poured out into you, goes into you, goes into me, manifest. Man, the anointing of the living God is amazing. In 1 Samuel 16, 13, let's go there. Glory to Jesus regarding David. We know, 1 Samuel 16, 13. Glory to God. We know how. David destroyed Goliath, but this is the root of his strength. Samuel took the horn of oil, that's what we're talking about, and anointed him. Again, the anointing is when the oil is just it's how it comes into you. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then Samuel took the 
horn of oil, anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Now listen to this. Then after that, he began to be enter into the kingly anointing, which the Bible says we all have, Revelation 1, 6, kings and priests unto him. And what happened when the oil was poured out upon him, what was intrinsic to the oil, the kingly anointing, the ability to destroy a bear and a lion with your, with your own hands. You see, when the oil went into him, that ability to destroy the land was now in him. The ability to worship God and write the Psalms was now in him. The ability to rule over men was now in him. Glory to God. Man, that oil went into him, and glory to God in everything intrinsic. Mm, Jesus, he anointed him as king. It was the kingly anointing. So everything intrinsic to a king went into him. Tonight, we're entering into the healing anointing, so everything intrinsic to healing is going to go into you. Man, David couldn't have killed a lion and a bear, but after this he could. (sighs) See, this is what we have faith in. Man, we go to James 5, we're we're going to shout. Glory to God. Go with me to Mark chapter 5. Most of you know this scriptures, but they're so amazing. They're so amazing. That we're amazed at who you are to us. The yeah. Bible says how awesome, amazing it is to be called a child of God. Yeah. Mark 5, 25, a certain woman had an issue of blood, 12 years. She continually bled. Suffered many things of many physicians, had spent all that she had, had nothing better, but rather grew worse. Positions are good, but they can only do so much. When she heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, remember he said, somebody's got to speak, right? If they may touch but his clothes, I will be whole. There is no, you're either going to be whole or not. I will be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. She felt in her body that she was healed. of the But this is how she was healed. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue, virtue is the oil. The Bible says in Song of Solomon 1 verse 2, thy name is oil poured forth. You see, the name of Rapha was in Jesus. And now it's poured forth. What he consists of, healing virtue goes into her. Glory to God. Dried up. She felt in her, the, the continual blood flow. Felt in her body. She has healed that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him. Turned about in the press and said, who touched my clothes? The disciple says, you know, there's so many people touching you. What are you talking about? But the woman, fearing and trembling, came and told him the whole truth. And he said, unto her daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace, nothing missing, nothing broken, and behold thy plague. Guys, that's what's going to happen to you tonight with whatever you need and whatever I need and who we're believing for. That's what's going to happen. Woo, Jesus. And see, uh, this woman knew a couple things. One, She knew that Jesus had inside of her, inside of him, what nobody else had. Just like we said, no one like Jesus. Isn't that the thing? No one like Jesus. She knew that he had something inside of him that nobody else had. Second, she knew that it was not under lock and key. Like religion teaches. Well, it doesn't even exist anymore. Well, if it does exist, it's under lock and key. And I tell you, you got to get so spiritual and so religious. You got to get the seven, you know, the, all the 50 numbers and the combination. And oh, my God, if you get healed, you must be amazing. And that is such a lie. Yes. Amen. Amen. It was under lock and key. And she knew it was hers. She knew it was hers. 
She knew what was in him, what was hers. Jesus, she's so good. Glory to God. But just just look at a few things quickly in a sense. Jesus did a lot of things that wasn't even necessary. We sing that song, you turn water into wine. That was not a necessity. Nobody was in a place where if he didn't turn water into wine, they would die. Why did he do it? Just ask to him one and two. So many of the miracles Jesus just did because he wanted to. Every time he multiplied bread, that was through the anointing. Glory to God. He didn't have to do that. They, they weren't even in a, they were in, in a place where, you know, they could have bought bread the first time he did it in Mark 6. Mark 7, the Syrophoenician woman, she wasn't even under covenant. And he healed her. Wow. Mark 8, man. He, you know, he, when he was translated, and, and again, he translated the ship, he didn't have to do that. Peter walking on the water. Wonder how he did that. He did it because of one word. Jesus said, come. One word from the master could cause you to walk on the water. One drop of oil will destroy cancer. Glory to Jesus. All that was unnecessary. He just wanted to do it. How about when it is necessary? Okay. But here's what's so exciting. When the word is spoken... Man, it's the Holy Spirit. Man goes into action and manifests what's spoken. When you say, I accept Jesus into my life, cause me to be born again, that's all he needs. That's all he needs is a few words. Man, we go through these prayers over, oh, my, my gosh, they're like a thousand word prayers. Using these big words that God even has to look in the dictionary for. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. And we think that we're so spiritual. It's like, are you kidding me? God just like, get on with it. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Lord, help us. Oh, my goodness. Have you, have you ever heard some of those prayers? Oh, and then, then, we, then, then we change the voice. You get it? Oh, dear God. I come to you. You know, and like and Jesus is like, I know what your voice is like. Who is that talking? You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Who is that talking? He's like, how, how would you like you know, to call your husband or wife and your wife gets on the phone and says, hello, beloved. You know, they're like, what the flip is that? You know what I'm saying? Honestly. But yet we do this with God. He's probably like, are you kidding me? You know what I'm saying? The words spoken. And words spoken will produce... In, in, in the book of Hosea, in the last chapter after you go through all these shows his love in, in an amazing way, he says, says this, O Israel, return unto me. That's all he says, just return. No big flowery prayer. He, he, listen to this. He said, use your words. Use your words and turn to me. And he says this, just say unto me, take away my iniquity and receive me. And so I will do for you. I love it. He just says, return to me. Use your words. Say, I I repent. I'm sorry. Then come to me. We're going to use our words tonight. Glory to God. All right, a few more things we're going to look at, okay? Glory to God. James 5, 14 and 15 is the key. So let's look at it and then so far we can. Thank you, Holy Ghost, so much. Glory to Jesus. You're so good, Lord. It is all about Jesus. All about Jesus. James 5, 14 and 15, we know these verses, but let's teach on them a little bit. Is any sick among you? Sure. Let him call for the elders of the church. It's good when somebody else initiates it, right? Yeah. And, and that's a plus. It's always easier when somebody themselves initiates. But when you stand in the gap for others, God and his mercy will work as well. Yeah. And it says, let them pray over him. There's that word, anointing him. See, man, that's a big deal to be anointed by God. Anointing him, this is obviously a type, 
anointing him with oil. See, it's the same way when Samuel anointed David, he anointed him with oil. He said, anointing him with oil, just like they did in Mark 6 that we initially read, in the name of the Lord. All right, let's just look at this. real. And the prayer of faith, not the prayer of, I hope so, not the prayer of if it be thy will, will save the sick. The same word that's used for salvation. He who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, right? The same Greek word, sozo, S-O-Z-O. It means eternal life. It means protection from evil. It means deliverance. It means healing. It means everything intrinsic to salvation. The prayer of faith will save the sick. Same word for eternal life. And the Lord, who will raise him? The Lord will raise him up. Not you, not me. The Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they'll be forgiven. Wow. Confess your faults one to another. That just means that we're all in this boat together. We all have faults. You know, we need to be humble. Pray for one another that you might be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man. We're righteous in Jesus. All right. So let's just look at this a little bit. So when you, let's just say someone has cancer. We're going to anoint you with oil in the name of Jesus. Now, let, let's look at this in the context of Trinity. The name entails two things. The name, Jesus said in, in John 17, 11, keep them in thy name, the name you gave me. Keep them in thy name. John 17, 26, Jesus said, I have declared thy name. I will declare thy name. Amen. So the name that's in the Father's heart, obviously it's in Jesus, Holy Spirit too, but initiated from the Father. So the name of Rapha, it's part of who he is. Someone says, well, you know, Jesus doesn't heal anymore. Jesus would have to change his name. More than that, he would have to become somebody else than who he really is. So the name of, of Jesus as healer is inside of him. And here's the deal, guys. He has a legal right through Jesus, through the sufferings of Jesus, to manifest it. He didn't have a, he has a legal right now. Even when he healed the Old Testament, it was based on the blood of right, bulls and goats and lambs that represented Jesus. The only reason he has a right to heal you is because of the blood that was shed. See, what we need to know is wherever there's blood, there's oil. In the Old Testament, when they anointed the king, they anointed his thumbs with blood. They anointed the, 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 the big toe of the right foot with blood. And then wherever there was blood, they covered it up with oil. You see, the blood was shed so Holy Spirit could have a right to do what he does. So the Holy Spirit manifest glory to God the name the name of Jesus which every name is intrinsic to the name of Jesus manifest the name of Rapha in the father's heart through Jesus everything has to come through Jesus one mediator between God and man the man Christ Jesus 1 Timothy 2 5 see so this is exciting so what happens is We say, Father, we're releasing your name tonight into the body of your child that the enemy has come against to kill, rob, and destroy. We're releasing your name, the virtue within you, through the blood of your son, the name of Jesus. And we know, we don't think, we know that the Holy Ghost will confirm that name. That's what our faith is in. It's in what's inside the heart of the Father. It's the sacrifice that gives the Father the legal right to release his name to you and I. It's in Holy Spirit who created the earth. You think if he created the earth, he might be able to deal with cancer? You think if he put Jesus inside the womb of Mary, 
that he might be able to kill cancer cells? You think if he ate up all those hundred snakes, he, he, it is an easy thing for the Holy Spirit. Okay, last couple of things we want to share. We'll be done in eight minutes or so. Go with me to 1 Kings 18, 41, because this is important. Oh, man, this is so good. 1 Kings 18, 41. Okay, we've got to go a little bit quick here. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 1 Kings 18, 41. Hadn't rained for three and a half years. Elijah's praying. This is the context. Elijah said unto Ahab, you got to say it. He said, get thee up, eat and drink, for there's the sound of the abundance of rain. There was no sound of the abundance of rain. When you say that you're healed nine times out of ten, man, there, there's nothing there. Are you lying? No, because you're speaking of what's in the heavenlies in Christ, so it will come to pass. He says, get up, there's a the sound of the abundance of rain, is what he heard in his heart. Ahab went up to eat and drink, that's what religious people do. Elijah went to the top of Carmel, cast himself down on the earth, Hebrew birthing position, seven times. He says, go look to a servant. Is, is there a cloud yet? First time, no cloud. Second time, no cloud. Third time, no cloud. Fourth time, no cloud. Fifth time, no cloud. Sixth time, no. You know what? There's a lot of people stop the third time. Seven is a number. Like when he says, you, you know, forgive 70 times seven. It just re it represents you just doing your part. Oh, glory to God. The seventh time he saw a cloud size of a man's hand. That's small. You got to be looking for it. You have to be in the heavenly places to see it in the spirit. And of course the rain came. Glory to God. Okay, let's go quick. I was going to go a couple more, but let's get, go quick here. Second Kings 5. And then we're going to share some testimonies. Three quick verses and pray. Second Kings 5. Thank you, Jesus, so much. Okay. This is about Elisha. Man, it's so good. Oh, man, there's so much we could share, that number seven. You know, when uh, Elisha prayed for the widow's son to uh, be raised from the dead, he's about 12 years old. The Bible says before he was raised from the dead, his body got warm. Didn't raise right away, his body got warm. Then it says he sneezed seven times <laughs> before he came alive. There's something about that number seven. Amen. All right. Let's look at this. We're, we're going to look at this big time. Share some testimonies and then a few verses. Now, Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master, honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out, and they took captive a little maid. Little maid, she waited on Naaman's wife. She was from Israel. And she said unto her mistress, would God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria. Remember when they were putting down Jesus? You know, who could come out of Samaria? Well, they never knew these verses because Elisha was here. So the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. Now this little girl, young lady, young girl, evidently Naaman and his wife are treating her really well. And she says, man, you guys, I, I just, I, I love you guys. And she was very familiar with Elisha's ministry. She says, man, I wish so much. You just went to him and got healed. She had no hesitation, no doubt whatsoever. Young girl, glory to God. And so one, somebody went in and they, they told, you know, Naaman. And, and who told the king? And he says, I'll send a letter to the king of Israel with all this money and stuff. They sent a letter to him. That he said, I'm sending Naaman to you, my servant, that, that you might recover him of his leprosy. And it came to pass, here's the response of the king of Israel. He was not, this guy was not walking with God. He, he's the response is like the religious person. He says, who am I? Am I God to cure or make alive? Sounds like the doctrine of sovereignty to me. That this man may send me to recover a man of his leprosy? I know what he's doing. He knows it's not going to happen. So he's just doing this to have a quarrel with me so he can fight against me. That's what 
Guys, that's what most of the church does today. When somebody comes in, they have poor stage cancer. It's like yeah. unsurety, hesitation, doubt. But I love what Elisha said. So when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, he sent to the king saying, why'd you rent your clothes? Let him come now to me and let him know that there's somebody in Israel well, that knows the heart of God. That's what a prophet does. He knows the heart of God. So Elijah sent messengers. Okay, so Naaman comes to him, right? His horses, his chariots, all this money stands at the door of the house of Elisha. Elisha sends a messenger unto him saying, go wash in the Jordan. How many times? Seven times. And your flesh will become clean. Naaman gets angry. See, a lot of people with cancer or with bipolar, whatever they're going through, they don't like coming to a setting like this. What would I, people would tell me if they went to a church to get healed? Man, where they, they, where they dance and, and they, oh my gosh, and they speak in tongues and they were, and they, oh my gosh. I find this. When somebody's in need, they're going to come where power is. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Glory to God. All right. So he's angry. And then the guys that love him say, hey, if he would have asked you something hard, wouldn't you done it? Won't you just go wash? Here's what I want you to see. He dips one time, nothing happens. See, this is a type of how we get healed. He dips another time. He could have said, hey, I'm done with this. It's making a fool of me. Seven times. All in an instant. His flesh is just like that of a little child. Perfect. Glory to God. Here's what I want to tell you tonight. I believe that when we pray, I really believe the anointing goes into you. And I believe for instantaneous healings. At the same time, it may not manifest till tomorrow or next week, but it will come to pass. See, here's what I want to let you know. There is a, I, I really have her, I have her CDs over here and Heather, one I brought for you, I talked about, I, I really like his testimony. Her name's uh, Amy Kesey. I can't even pronounce her last name. But she was prayed for. And uh, her stomach, she, for nine years, it protruded like she was pre- about six months pregnant. Her vertebrae was not connected. She had a mass on her. It was about nine pounds, 13 pounds for nine years. And she got a hold of the scriptures. And she went and prayed just like you're doing tonight. Now, a lot of times it's going to be instant. I'm believing for that. But here's the deal. She got prayer. She walked back. She she said, I was hurting worse than before. But she said, I knew in my heart that the anointing went in me. And for 14 days, no change. She just thanked God that anointing was in her. Yeah. It was in her. And uh, she woke up the 14th day. And her husband said, Amy, what happened to your body? She said, what are you talking about? Man, the 13-pound tumor would disappear. Yeah. Nine inches off her waist. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. The vertebrae was put back together. Jesus. Man, she had three wonderful kids in the next few years. Next. Amen. Glory to God. David Hogan, he's coming the end of September. I mean, a man has raised 500 people from the dead. For real. And, you know, he says a lot of times when he prays, uh, he was praying for a leper. And he prayed for him like, I don't know, like five different times. And the guy had, uh, his ears were basically gone. His nose was emaciated. No fingers, no toes. I mean, it was a, it was a bad deal. And, uh, but he came back one day. After he led him to the Lord, he said, I believe that you're healed. Well, can you imagine? No fingers, no toes. Your nose is about gone. Your ears are... He come back one day. And man, the guy's completely whole. Glory to God. Glory to God. Then we can share so many testimonies like that. And then someone with autism, you know. Um, well, we were up at a church in Central PA, and 
I had a word of knowledge. I gave the kid's name. I said, this kid has autism. He has a helmet on. And the lady was sitting like right where Heather's sitting. I'm right in the front row. She said, I work with that kid every day. And he's so bad, we, we can't even keep him in a residential institution. You know, we prayed a simple prayer like we're going to tonight. That was a Saturday night. She went back Monday morning. That kid was without his helmet in his right mind. And, Jesus, and she told the parents Jesus, exactly what happened. Glory to God. Because of the anointing. Because the anointing went into him. Glory to God. You know, somebody else, uh, you know, real precious girl. She, had go, she was uh, working on her law degree in Florida State. Had golf ball sized tumors on her neck. I saw them. And uh, man, we prayed. And uh, their dad, mom, and we prayed. And, man, we were short. Of, and it was gone, but they weren't gone. She went back to Florida State with these golf ball sized lumps on her. I think it was about two weeks later. We got a call. They just, she woke up and they were completely gone. I mean, completely. She's, today has three kids. Her, glory to God. Just amazing lawyer. Just amazing kid. Hallelujah, Jesus. So here's what we're going to do after you get prayed for. Glory to God. We might t- ask you to do something if you can't walk to walk and look and if you can't see to look to see. But we're going to be believing. Hallelujah. Man, when you, when you, someone asks you, well, you don't look any different. You want that healing, you, you know, service. You say, oh, man, I might not look different, but i tell you what, I am different. And what I got anointed for is working in me, and the devil can't stop it. And I guarantee you, I am whole. And I tell you what, you may have to say it one day. You may have to say it two days. You may have to say it three days. You may have to say it more than noon and night, four days, five days, six days, seven days, what it is. But I guarantee you, it will come to pass for the anointing always, 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 always breaks the yoke. And it will be in a reasonable time. Jesus. All right. Three quick scriptures. Glory God, we're going to pray. Go with me to Matthew 12, 28. Hallelujah. This is so good to live like this. Glory to God. The devil says, why are you so happy? Because you can't hold back my wholeness. F.F. Right. Bosworth, there's such a good book if you've never read it, called Christ the Healer. He gives the example of this. His dad uh, was in a business where when trees were going bad, they, you know, and rather than uh, chopping them down, they would put a poison in the root of the tree. And he was a little boy, I think nine years old, and he watched his dad do that. And about a week and a half later, he's going, um, they go past the tree, and he said, he said, Dad, the tree that you put the poison in to kill it, it's, look, all the branches, that they still got flowers on them, it has its leaves. And his dad knew the deal. He said, you know, it's what we call girdling. That tree is dying from the roots up. You just can't see the fruit of it yet. And then he went past a few days later, and that tree was gone. Amen. Glory to God. Just like that fig tree. Amen. That was cursed by Jesus. See, when Jesus cursed it and said, no more will a man ever eat fruit of you. The anointing backed him up. Went into the root of that tree. Glory to God. And from the roots up, it died. But it wasn't until the next day that they saw the fruit of that. Amen. Glory to God. Oh, my Jesus, we give you praise. Let's just look at a few more verses before we pray. Matthew 12, 28. Oh, Jesus, we give you worship. If God is for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, who can stand against you? Glory to God. So Jesus says this. But if I cast out devils and, or heal the sick, anything he does, how do he do it? By the Spirit of God. Some translations say the finger of God. Then the kingdom of God has come. Can I tell you something, folks? The kingdom of God's here right now. Yes. And see, Jesus is in us. So when Jesus spoke, Stretch forth thy hand to the man that was, had a hand that was withered. 
The words went into his heart, enabling him to do it and believe. But the Spirit of God just, the hand came right out. See, the Spirit of God, we don't have time to get into this. Oh, man. If you get this, it'll change your life, but we're not focused on this right not fully. When you accept Jesus Christ, well, go with me to verse Philippians 1, 19. A lot of us read Philippians 4, 13, which is awesome. goes with it. Let's go to Philippians 4, 19, or 1, 19. I love this verse. Glory to God. I love verse 128 too. In nothing terrified by your enemy. If you got stage four cancer, I know it's hard. God only knows. But don't be terrified, afraid of him. Which is to him an evident token of destruction. But to you of salvation of God. I love this verse, Philippians 1.19. The apostle Paul says, I know, not that I hope, that this shall turn to my salvation, sozo. Through your prayer, we need each other. We need to stand with each other. And the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. See, the spirit represents Holy Spirit. So what he's saying is this. When Jesus walked the earth, because of his righteousness, when he said, take up thy bed and walk, Holy Spirit made it happen. Yes. Because Jesus was righteous. He was perfect. So he, the Holy Spirit had a right because he could only confirm perfection. When he said, Lazarus, come forth, Holy Ghost said, okay. Holy Spirit did what Jesus spoke. But here's the exciting thing. Now, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. He said, where's that leave me? Well, the Bible says, he who knew no sin became sin that you might become the righteousness of God. By the blood, you're just as righteous as Jesus is. For the gift of righteousness being given to you. So when you speak, the devil says, hey, he sinned yesterday. Hey, you ought to saw what a mess he was before he got saved. Hey, look what you, he's, he's going to do this tomorrow. God says, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. His spirit's righteous. My spirit has a legal right to confirm his words. That's why. I know the Holy Spirit will move tonight. Yes. All right. See, we've not only been given the name Jesus, the person of Jesus, we've been given the name Christ as Christian, which means the Spirit of God manifesting the person of Jesus. All right. That, that's a whole nother. Okay. So when you pray, to, we pray tonight, man, whoo. The person of Jesus is going to, because of who he was and what he did, is going to manifest through you by Holy Ghost. Last thing is this. We all know it. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amplified who infuses the life of Jesus into me. <sighs> Bible says for me to live is Christ. How's that happen? How's that happen? Tonight, in just a few minutes for many, Jesus, oh my, the Holy Ghost is going to manifest through the blood of Jesus what's in the heart of the Father and cause your wholeness to take place because for you to live is Christ. Not because of your righteousness or mine, but because of the gift of righteousness and because Father wants his children to have the image that his son Jesus has. Amen. Glory to God. I want to share some words of knowledge. Amen. Does this help you? So when we pray, man, how can somebody not be excited when they pray? For real. What a privilege it is to see in the Father's heart.
through the word of God. What a privilege it is to speak by quoting a scripture verse. What's in the Father's heart, knowing that the Spirit of God will confirm your words tonight as much as he confirmed the words of Jesus 2,000 years ago. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. Amen. Hallelujah. We just had a few words of knowledge. Uh, I I saw arthritis. Words of knowledge just means what God was supernaturally, like Heather was sharing, tell somebody about a condition of somebody that they don't know in the natural, but only told told by the Spirit of God. We could give a hundred examples like that. We had a little boy, I had a name K.L. He was dying of a, had half a heart when he was born and, and, you know, I, I gave the word of knowledge. Somebody was here from Brookfield that was going to visit the parents because they were going to pull the plug on this little boy that same afternoon. And I said, tell them not to. And they didn't. And the little boy is alive and whole today. And it was in Kathy's class, actually, last year. Glory to God. So uh, I saw arthritis. I saw blood disorder. I'm not exactly what it, sure what it entails. I definitely saw cancer. I saw autism big time. I saw the, the name Corey. I saw the name Rowley. Um, Robin saw the name Sue and the name Karen. People struggling with a lack of hope. The devil really trying to come against them in a very strong way. I saw the name uh, Leanne. I saw the name Colin. And, uh, oh, Jesus. I, I saw somebody struggling, uh, I believe it's to get pregnant. And I, I saw... The enemy coming against the brain. Again, Alzheimer's, dementia, big time. And I saw the last name Weber. Also, you know, glory to God. I don't, if anybody has cloth, you want to do this. I should have bought more cloths, to be honest with you. I have one here. And uh, I just saw drenching the cloth with oil. And you can take it back and lay hands. I don't know if we have a scissors or anywhere, but... Uh, you could take it to somebody. We'll drench it with oil. What's that? Okay, thank you so much. We'll drench it with drench it with oil. And if you have something that we can drench you with oil, probably not a new coat or something. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll do that. Okay. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Let's just give the Lord praise before we enter in. Okay. Father. It's an amazing thing to know that the glory of the living God, in this case, you, your healing virtue, your healing oil, oh my, is going to manifest, go into people tonight, whether they be people here or people we're standing in the gap for. It will go into them. It will affect the healing and the cure in them. It will destroy the sickness, the yoke of sickness, and affect the healing and cure in them. Lord, I have no doubt. I honestly can say, I have no doubt, and I know people here believing. We have no doubt that the oil, because of the blood, thank you, thank you, the oil, but because of the blood. Woo! Thank you, Lord. According to your name, yes. will be poured out tonight to your glory, honor, and praise. Mm, Jesus. Uh, I want to start out uh, a few people that cannot be here, and then we're going to enter into those of us here. Either you who are Just saying, you know what, I have a need of my own body or you're standing in the gap for someone else. Okay. Glory to God. Thank you so much, Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Larry, can you come up first? I want to stand in the gap for a man. His name's David. He's 41 years old. He has dementia so bad. Thank you so much. He has dementia so bad that he's in a home, 41 years old, with a wife and two children. He can't speak a word right now. He just puts his head down in a chair and sits there 16, 18 hours a day. 
He's on my heart, Larry. Larry has very strong faith. And we're going to anoint you in his place. And and this is scriptural. And we're going to believe that the anointing that we're talking about is going to, glory to God, is going to go into him. But we're in holy ground. You sense that? We're in holy ground. Glory yeah. to God. So I'm going to anoint Larry for David in Jesus' name. And glory to God. We give you praise. We give you worship. Well, I just sense the love of God towards you, David. And I, I believe this is going to go out. If you're not watching now, his precious wife and children. And for David. David, we anoint you in the name of Jesus. And we say, Father, how great it is to be loved by you. That you would send your son to die a horrific death to take the straps for our healing. So right now, Father, in Jesus' name, according to Rapha, within your heart, Father, according to the price paid by your son, according the Holy Spirit, the creator, the manifestor, the glory. We say the flow is loosed to you, David, in Jesus' name. For his name, the name of Father God, the name of Rapha, through the blood, through the Holy Spirit, because it's oil to flow. According to that name. I, boy, I just, I, man, the anointing is so strong. Yeah. The anointing goes into you, David, in Jesus' name. It goes into you. It's not impossible. I was called to pray last summer for a man. It was very, very difficult. He was in the Monroeville area. And he had some type of, I don't even know what, cancer or whatever. And I went into the room and his wife was there. And uh, he had about half of a head. He, he, I couldn't believe he was alive. And we prayed, and, and Jesus really came, and he began to talk. It's very, very glorious. There's two other young men uh, from California there, and they, they have, they're they young men that have strong faith. And uh, Larry, I, I just sense the anointing going into him in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you. Where the anointing is, there's life. Because nothing can withstand it. It's a two-edged sword. It destroys the dementia and it brings forth soundness in Jesus' name. Boy, I sense God there. What do you sense as we're praying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to receive for him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Father, I stand the gap and proxy to receive for this man the mind of Christ to mm-hmm. enter into him. Amen. That yes. That he will not have a spirit of fear, mm. but of love and power and a sound mind. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. By the power of the blood. <sighs> so, Father, as I stand the gap, as the anointing enters into me for him. Amen. That that same anointing is falling on him this very minute. Amen. And he is going to receive the mind of Christ. I believe you, Father. Full restoration. Holy. Holy. The power of the blood. Holy. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. I just sense holiness. You know, holiness is just Man, when, what's inside of God reigns. Yeah. Woo. Uh, Sharon, I know you're listening to this with your uh, beloved husband. Yeah. And I, I said I was going to say your name. So Sharon, right now. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Uh, Robin, can you come up here with staring the gap for her? Sharon, many people here know you from Transformation Church. Wow. <clears throat> they can. You can sit. You can sit down if you need to. It's fine to sit down. Uh, many people are believing 
are believing with you and for you. I feel like the Lord's saying, you've been through so much, so much pain. Tumor after tumor. And sharing together. This church is believing. This church is believing. That the battle's over. That even as you had sent that text two days ago or three days ago. I will live and not die. And it was reiterated when Pastor Kathy had the same verse. We say yes. To what you texted. We say yes to the word of God. Which you said enables us to partake. To partake. To partake. So right now through the oil. We partake of Holy Ghost. And we say in Jesus name. Holy Ghost. Manifest Rapha. Manifest Rapha. We give you the glory. And the honor and the praise. And Lord Holy Spirit. Your word says in James 4, 5 that you're moved with jealous lust. Oh my. There's a holiness here, Lord. There's a holiness here. We thank you, Father, for what's in your heart. That verse in Psalms that Sharon texted, I will live and not die. I will proclaim my destiny was your word that the Holy Spirit wrote. And we say tonight, it is confirmed in our sister, in Jesus' name, the oil of Holy Spirit brings it to pass and does its work. Does his work through the blood of Yeshua, through the blood of Messiah, through the blood of the Holy One. Yes. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Sharon, we receive it in you. In you. In you. Through the greater one in you. And we say yes and amen to the truth that the same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is destroying death in you. And manifesting resurrection. And we agree with you. Even as you're a woman of God. Your husband's a man of God. That you have great faith. And you're agreeing. With the word. Right now that you quoted. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Yeah, yeah. Just like Larry. It's like, Larry, I'll give you the mic. The reason I'm doing this, when someone's standing, sit, standing or sitting in proxy, they receive things. So I, it's good to give the mic. If you're in proxy, we'll give you the mic to see what you're sensing. Very important. Good. Can you stay close? Because she needs to hear this. Yeah, the, so, the mic's not on. No, can I hold your thing? So yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll get it. I'll yeah. hold it. Amen. Sorry. So, um, Sharon, I just... I felt like such a heat. It's so hard to stand. I'm going to sit. I'm sorry. Um, there is such a heat in my body, and it's like emanating in my head so strongly and down through my spine and in my body. And I just feel like the Lord wants to say to you to stand up and say, I expect it. I expect it. I expect it. I receive it. I expect it. And it's going to be a moment of miraculousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, what I sense, and the reason we want to share is so we can, I'm sorry. The reason we want to share, is this okay on here? Is so we can be in agreement together. I just sense such holiness. I sense holiness. I mean, no, God is holy. I, I, I mean, there's holiness and Sexual purity, there's holiness in regards to living right. But there's holiness when the name is manifested yes. by Holy Spirit. By Holy Spirit. Yes. By Holy Spirit. 
Oh, Lord, we give you glory. Amen. If, if those, any of those names hit or you just have a need right now, just come up, please. If you would, and amen, you're going to help me stand behind people. Just come up. Don't be afraid. Just come up. If you're standing for you or someone else, just come up in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Eventually, because I'm going to pray over every person here. I'll be quick, okay? So don't run out. All right? Glory to God. Amen. Can you stand right at the step? Hi. What are we believing for? I need healing from asthma. I mean, I have a long list of things, but asthma. Okay. Simone, hallelujah. Can you, uh, Antonio, can you come over with her, please? A sense and uh, then stay here for her too, okay? Hey, she has asthma. We're going to anoint her. And then if you, and what I'm going to do, we're going to anoint and pray. Any, any words you guys have, we'll pray. Father, asthma is a name that does not belong in our sister's life. Because your word says, Lord God, that which has come to bring harm is not of you. So right now in the name of Jesus, we anoint our sister. Father, in the context of Rapha, through the blood of Jesus, Messiah, Yeshua. And we say, Woo, broken in Jesus' name by Holy Spirit. And Lord Holy Spirit, we vow to give you all the glory. Because it's not by might nor by power. But by you, you've been waiting. I sense it's been going on for a while. You've had this for a while, a long time. I, I just sense the Holy Spirit is so pleased to touch you tonight. He is so pleased to touch you. He is so pleased. Lord, we receive you going into these lungs in Jesus' name to the glory of the Father. You guys have anything? Don't you have something? Yeah. Um, yeah. The Holy Spirit is saying, breathe out. Deliver it out. Yes, just breathe it out on your breath and be delivered. Amen. Breathe it out. Yes. Breathe it out. Amen. Breathe out. Yes. And let the anointing replace it. What do you sense right now? Holy Spirit's all over you. Holy Spirit. Ooh, glory to God. My goodness, thank you, Lord. What do you sense right now? <laughs> I've been battling this for so long, and I'm yeah. going to see my son for Mother's Day. And yeah. I have two dogs, and the yeah. last time I was there, I, I couldn't breathe. I, I didn't know if I'd make it through the night. It was so weird. We bind the spirit of fear Amen. off of you. Yes. We break that. We Jesus. break Jesus. agreement. Jesus. Yes. yes, we Jesus. speak that you can Jesus. breathe. Fear is gone. We receive in Jesus. Just say this with us right now. Just say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You're my healer. You are my healer. You're my God. You're my God. I receive. I receive. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Has confirmed. Has confirmed. Your blood. Your blood. On my behalf. On my behalf. My breathing. My breathing. Is whole. Is whole. In the name of Jesus. Uh, just continue to receive that symbol. You have something. Hallelujah. It's on. Uh, okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Whew. Man, I just sense Jesus. Can you just stay with her for a little bit, okay? If you have anything else to minister, I, I really believe in every fiber of my being that there's change reigning in you right now. There is change reigning in you. Because the wind of Holy Spirit has blown in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Boy, the Spirit of God. Song. Someone else just, and, oh, come up right here. Thank you. Just come up. Kathy, stay with me, okay? Hallelujah. Stay with me. Amen. Yeah. Can you, can you sit in this chair, okay? She, in this chair, okay? I want you to put your hands out towards her. Amen. Amen. Do you need to sit down as well? Okay. All right. Boy, I sense God on this. I don't know all that. So what are we praying for? I've been dealing with leg pain and pain in my foot. For a while? Okay. Can, can you sit down? It's okay. It's okay. 
Robin, how about you put your hand on her head? What's that? Isa? Okay. Whew, boy, where's that oil at? Okay, right here. I just need it. Lisa, when we anoint you with oil, Holy Spirit's going to come in a mighty way, okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can anoint her head. Go ahead. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wholeness. Wholeness. Lord, Holy Spirit. In every place Jesus has been there, mm. in every place, it's a little girl, it's a teenager. Thank you, Jesus. As a woman. Jesus. Put your hands out towards your place again. Thank you. Head to toe, head to toe. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Yes, yes, amen. I, yes, I, I sense a spirit of not of healing, but just as, of healing and restoration. I don't know who, I, I feel like the Lord's saying that you've been through a lot, and the Lord is restoring your identity. He's restoring the, 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 the mm, just how much he loves you. He's restoring your integrity. He's restoring. Woo. His Thank destiny you, for you. Thank you, you will not be hobbled. Life reigns in your precious leg and foot in Jesus' name. In Jesus' wonderful name. In Jesus' wonderful name. Now, who? I'm going to ask God to keep praying for you, okay? I believe that you're going to, there's tremendous change. What are we praying for for? Is this your, who's this to you? My stepdad. Your stepdad? And what are we praying for for him? I have diabetes and I'm on dialysis. Okay. Well, I, I tell you, what's your first name? Richard. Richard? Boy, I sense the Spirit of God so strong. Hallelujah. Kath, I want you to put your hand on his, uh, give me the oil. Will you put your hands towards Richard? <laughs> diabetes and he's on dialysis. I'm going to tell you something. Yes, I'm going to tell you something. Jesus is going to move right now. Leave in Jesus' name. Spirit of infirmity, leave this man in Jesus' name. Father, we receive the enemy's hands off and your hands on. Hands on. We believe, Lord Jesus, that you cast out infirmity by the finger of God, by the Spirit of God. And we say, Lord Jesus, today, in honor of who you are, we receive the Spirit of God. Casting out now infirmity, we rebuke disease in Jesus' name that he's been labeled with. And we say, miraculous be loosed. Healing. Rafa, be loosed. I hear the Lord saying, you will stand strong. You will walk strong. You will be strong. You will be strong. And what the doctors have said, we believe in doctors, what the doctors have said, God is going to override because he is the great physician. He is the great physician. Woo! Tell you've got more faith than you know. Yes. You really do. Uh, you know, yeah, but you have more faith than you know. I tell you, he hears your voice. I tell you, I, boy, I just sense God on you. I, I just sense a change. I, I, I sense change. I really do with all my heart. I tell you what. You've got more years to live because you've got more to give. More years to live because you've got more to give. Pastor Mike. Yeah. He's, whenever I said there's someone here that needs to see more yeah. in the land of the living, this yes. is him. <laughs> we receive that in Jesus' name. Yes, in the land of the Woo! Spirit of God is so strong here. Spirit of God is so strong here. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Thanks. Amen. Yeah.
Amen. If someone just wants oil on your thing, just tell me. I'm yeah. Standing in the gap for a friend. She's been here at the healing oh, service yeah, several yeah. times. Oh yeah, yeah. She's had COVID the second time. She was just diagnosed again. So What's her first name again? Yeah. yeah. Becky Pat. Weichel. Becky Weichel. Becky. Okay. Put your hands out. Someone's had COVID the second time. I tell you, we're gonna use our authority now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Eileen, come up and agree with us. We're going to use authority. When we speak in the name of Jesus, we're going to receive Holy Ghost to do what we say, to confirm the name. Father, this is your daughter. I believe in my heart. It's not in your heart. COVID is not in your heart for her. Rafa, healing is in your heart for her. Leave in Jesus' name. You're rebuked in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit, for manifesting, for manifesting the rebuke in Jesus' name. She's being loosed, loosed, loosed. She's being loosed right now. And she will not suffer the consequences, the ramifications of the second attack of COVID. For it is destroyed by the oil of Holy Ghost. Why does sense God on that? And Patty, I tell you, you're such an, you stand in the gap so well, and you stand in the gap well, but also the Lord's going to have you as never before laying hands on people. As never before. With such a confidence. And sometimes you have such empathy for people. It's like, wow. I mean, it's like, man, your heart goes out. But the Lord says, when you lay hands on people, you're not even going to see what they're going through, you're just going to see in the spirit realm the answer that's being loosed to them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Someone else, just come up. Don't be afraid, please. Or I want to come up to, to you. Amen. I'm going to pray for him. Then he and I'm going to pray for you, okay? Hallelujah. There's a holiness here. There's a holiness. There's a holiness. Lazelle, there's a holiness being loose to you right now. It's raining in you. For the Lord says, you have stood up and you stand out for me. And the Lord says, Holy Ghost in you is standing up for you and standing out for you. Man, there's something between you and the Holy Ghost. Amen. But we believe in poor my brother. Um, I'm diagnosed with Parkinson's. Amen. I don't have it. Amen. What's your first name? Gary. Gary? He is. He is. Okay. Put out for, uh, amen. I just sense God on, uh, Gary, I just sense your heart towards God. Where are you from? Lesbian, Lesbian Ohio. Lesbian, Ohio. How far is that? Uh, 60 miles. About 60 miles from here. Okay. Yeah. I tell you, you have a good heart. You just have a genuine heart towards God. Devil's trying to put Parkinson on this precious man, and he's not going to prevail. Are you with him? Yes. Okay, you all are. You're with him, and you're with him, and you're with him. Yeah, but I need healing, too. Okay. We're all together on this, okay? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Reverend, how about you stand behind here? Yeah, him, okay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Your hand there. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. You stand behind. I feel like for some reason I want more. Uh, Thank you, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Wow. Holy Ghost. I feel like the Lord's saying, Gary, first of all, you've done nothing wrong for this. The enemy is such a liar. You've done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong, nothing wrong. So, Jim, I want you releasing your faith, too, because I saw Parkinson's here, okay? Releasing your faith. Parkinson's is going to bow. I, I, I know it is. And uh, this thing with your throat, we're going to receive God just coming to you in Jesus' name, okay? Can I just take your hat? Can you just get your heart off? That's all. So I can just put the oil on it, okay? I, I just, I just want to pray a little bit right now in case someone gets something here. I just sense God saying that uh, you're looking to God and, and this is the enemy trying to attack you. 
And I, I don't know, I, I get the enemy's tried to attack you before. And I don't know what that entails. And, and you, you fight, you, you fought, but the enemy's trying to come against you, your integrity, trying to come against your destiny, okay? And uh, I hear the Lord saying, Gary, you're second to none. You are second to none. I don't know why. I feel like the enemy is trying to degrade you somehow and has tried to do that in the past. You are second to none in the eyes of God. In the atia, in the heart of God, Gary, in the heart of God, you are whole. In the heart of God, you are whole. For the blood of Jesus has made you whole. And Lord Holy Spirit, We speak so you can confirm. Just like Jesus spoke and you confirmed by creating the earth. We speak that in the Father's heart is wholeness. Woo, man, freedom. And through the blood of Jesus, we just bow at your feet, Lord Holy Spirit. And receive you manifesting your holiness that destroys this which is not that which is unholy in your holiness we receive you destroying what's unholy thank you and bringing forth holiness the name of Jesus manifested to the glory of God Father, we say yes to you. We say glory of God. There's no match for you. We say Parkinson's has bowed its knee in the name of Jesus. Parkinson's says, oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Woo! Parkinson's has bowed its knee. Parkinson's has bowed its knee. For Holy Spirit has taken over your body. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit has taken over your body. For you are a chosen child of the living God. And you are second to none. You are second to none. Second to none. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Just lift up your hands if you would. And just, yes. just lift them up. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to put this down just for a second, okay? Just lift them up. Yes. Father, we give you praise and glory and honor. Oh, my. We give you praise. What are you sensing right now, Gary? You're sensing heat? Where are you sensing heat at? All through your body. Put your hands out in Jesus' name. I sense the Holy Spirit taking you over. And where there's heat... That's a manifestation of the oil of Holy Ghost. Taking you over from the top of your head to the soles of your feet under the freedom that the Holy Spirit gives. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom to be who you're created to be. Image of God. We will receive your reigning and loosed. In Jesus' name. Oh, my. Boy, the Spirit of God's on you. Holy mackerel. Spirit of God's on you. Spirit of God is on you. Woo! Jesus, Lord, we just thank him right now. The Parkinson's has bowed to Holy Spirit. And you're, who are you to him? That's what I thought. And you have a big, strong love for this man. Amen. And for you, what can we pray for? Inflammation. Inflammation. Jesus. May da We break inflammation together. Together with this house tonight. We break inflammation in the name of Jesus. And we loose. I hear the Lord saying, untouched. Untouched in Jesus' name. Boy, that's the Spirit of God on you. 
untouched. Ooh, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give, oh, my, we give you praise. We give you glory and honor. Yeah, oh, my, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. I tell you, the Spirit of God is so strong. We're going to pray some more for these guys and go a little quicker, okay? What are we praying for for you? Thyroid disease. Amen. What's your first name? Darla. Darla? Okay. Boy, I tell you what, the Spirit of God is so strong here. Woo, Glory! Eileen, Tanya, why don't you come up and get behind her too, okay? Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Well, I tell you, there's such a, there's holiness here. Yes, so much love. The Lord says in Psalm 103, bless the Lord, bless his holy name, who forgives us all of our sins and heals all of our diseases. Thyroid disease is nothing to God. We break the lie that this is somehow your plight, that this is somehow to be part of you. It's not. Father, according to the word that was written to convey your heart to us so we could see your heart, we take that word, we speak it back to you. That's what declaration is. We decree the decree of Psalm 103. And we know, Lord Holy Spirit, you love it when we do it because you manifest the decree. And we say yes and amen in Jesus' name. Leave in Jesus' name. Do not come back in the name of Jesus. You are broken. And you will not come back in Jesus' name. You are made to be loved, to be blessed, and to fulfill destiny. Somehow the enemy has said this is your plate or it could be. It, it, it's not your plate at all. Okay? Are you with her? Yes, I am. You're her husband? Okay. And I can sense a love for her from you? Father, I, what's your first name? Dave. Dave. Father, we thank you for Dave. For standing with his wife. He's a good man. He's a tough guy, but he's a good man. Father, in the name of Jesus, this has touched his heart and broken his heart because of his love for her. Well, his heart doesn't have to be broken anymore. For the Lord says, I have touched her, and this has been rebuked. And the Lord says, I'm calling you unto myself, David, as never before. I'm calling you unto myself as never before. For I want to let you know that I, I, I will never let you down. I will never let you down. And you're a man's man. And the Lord says, you're my man. And the Lord says, I'm loosing you to myself in a greater degree. For the Lord says, Woo. The scripture says, I will not be ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of God unto salvation. You like power. The Lord says, in strength, the gospel is the power. And the power has destroyed, destroyed this disease in Jesus' name. All I want you to do, okay, the pressure's not on you, okay? And just tonight as you're driving back or even right now, just thank him for his love for you, for his healing love. And we have, I believe, CDs over there and some things that you can take, uh, healing CDs. Uh, glory to God, healing CDs, I think it will be a help to you, Okay. And when, oh my, I just sense Jesus on you. I'm going to tell you something. The Spirit of God is so strong towards you guys. Because He loves you. And you guys are good ground. You're good ground. You're good ground. Okay? And somehow, I just, I just want you guys to stay in touch somehow. Take a card, do something. Just stay in touch, okay? And, uh, if somebody can, someone or somebody can get her one of those healing CDs to, to these guys, okay, if you could do that, that'd be awesome. Or something, okay? Amen. Hallelujah. And, and they might want to just minister to you more, okay? Can you thank Jesus? Hallelujah. Victory reigns. Freedom reigns. Freedom reigns. Freedom reigns. Man, I'll tell you what. Who, Hannah, can you come up? Glory to God. I'm sorry, we're going to pray for you, Mark, first. Yeah. He's got a long trip back to Upper St. Clair. I don't have you. anything concrete, but 
I, I didn't know it was going to come up, but I got uh, it. Amen. It could be a relative, but the Lord I know, wants me yeah. don't bypass this, go up there. So, Amen. Amen. Um, I mean, there's a lot, I was always a little bit of stuff in everybody's life. Yeah, that's for I sure. Uh, I don't know what God has in mind. Here's what I sense. Mark, the Lord has brought you out of a place of victimization. The Lord says, he's prophesied this before, but he's breaking this completely. You will never be again a target of the enemy through people, through generational curses, anything. You're not a target. Mark, the Lord's loosening you to put like an arrow in your hand that you will target the enemy on behalf of others. I know you have an empathy for people. Uh, you know, your wife, your daughter, uh, Father in Jesus' name. I just hear the Lord saying, release the real you. Release the, you're a very smart guy. Release the real you. The Lord says, the kingdom of God, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Right now, you know, the oil can manifest anything. The oil can manifest anything. If you don't have an arm, he'll manifest an arm. Yes. If you have depression, he'll manifest wholeness. Yes. Amen? Amen? Like that guy honestly had like half a head. The Holy Ghost can manifest the other half of the head. Amen. Right now, I hear the Lord saying, I'm manifesting through the oil. Amen. Ooh, the fullness of peace in you yes. and the fullness of joy, Amen. knowing that no harm will come to you or your house in Jesus' name. Woo, freedom <laughs> in Jesus' name to the glory of God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. See, come up, Hannah. The, the exciting thing about the oil, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to get her and then you guys. Is that okay? Amen. Well, I sense anointing right now. Of, uh, I'm gonna, I got to pray for her. As soon as you came in, I saw, and I know you're doing, being involved in counseling and but I just sense, my goodness, that uh, I sense in Jesus' name emotions that cannot be healed. You giving agreement to their being whole. And the Lord says the enemy would say, oh, it cannot be. And even some people in some circles will say it's foolish to do this. But the Lord says, I'm bringing you into a realm that you'll be able to see it even as you believe it. Okay, what are we praying for for you right now? Um, physically, yeah. I'm having an eye issue. Um, okay. I think it's a cataract. Okay. okay. Very little vision. Okay. In this one side. Amen. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' name, put your hands out if you would. We say, I, you are the eye of Jesus. For we're in the second Adam, and the second Adam is in us. Boy, you're a good ground to pray for. Wow. You're easy to pray for. <laughs> Seriously. We say the second Adam. Whew, we are in the second Adam, and the Lord says the second Adam's in you. He's the man crushed Jesus at the right hand of the Father, the second Adam. He's also the, obviously the Son of God. But we receive what's in the second Adam in you, in this eye. In Jesus' name. Boy, I sense that so strong. I just sense that so strong. Hallelujah. Just receive that right now. This is that anointing work, okay? Just thank him that what's in the second Adam, the man Christ Jesus is loosed to your eye. Whoo! Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit. We bow before you. We bow before you. Shh. Now, I am so confident, I don't know what you see, don't see, but I'm so confident, my sister, that this eye is the eye in Jesus right now at this hand of God. You're good ground. You're good ground. Whew. Man, the Lord really loves you. I know he loves all of us, but you're very beloved. You're very beloved. Glory to God. Let's look up. What do you see when you look up right now? Oh. It's still pretty fuzzy. But well, we received. Yeah, I know. Father, we thank you. Fuzziness yes. is broken because yes. there's no fuzziness in you at the right hand of the Father. And we thank you that the eye in you 
is the eye in our sister. In Jesus' name. Boy, I keep getting that. What's in the second Adam is in you. Woo, glory to God. I know you're a good friend. Or you're with her. Anything for you? Um, my name's Karen, and you had, you called that. Oh, the family. name Karen? You know, I want to have Robin pray for you because okay. she's the one that had that name. Okay? So I'm going to have her pray for you since she's the one that had the name. Hallelujah. And then, Hannah, we're going to pray for you, okay? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Shh, Holy Ghost. Mm. Shh. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I just want yeah. my sister to believe like we believe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. I see you as a woman of faith on the front line. I see you with a sword in your hand, and I see you pointing it toward the enemy, and the enemy is fleeing. I see you in the light of the power of the living God. I see you as a woman of faith where, you know, you're a quieter person in general. Like, you don't be a bop all over the place, and, you know, you're not loud. But what you are in the spirit realm is beyond loud. You are a world changer. You are a life changer. Whoa. 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 You are a woman of the living word. And that sword in your hand, when you speak the word over other women, over other children, over other teens and families. I see you speaking the word of our families. When you speak it, bondages are broken. People's lives are changed. Don't doubt me, says the Lord. Through you comes miracles in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We receive that in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. I received her to have her the spirit world like it's never been open before. I receive her to see the kingdom and experience the kingdom the way that she's never experienced it before. Father, I pray for revelation that will jump off of the, the when the word is there and, and Karen is presenting it to Sue, Father, that the word is so alive in her that Sue is like, wow, I see it for the first time. She's read it hundreds of times, but she sees it for the first time. And so, Father, I just declare that in the name of Jesus. That's what you want today. That's what Amen. you're speaking. Hallelujah. So, Father, I thank you that that's what you're going to do, that you're going to bring the life of the word of God to Sue's mind. Mm -hmm. And the in her mind, it will change things neurologically. I just see like an issue neurologically. I don't know if it's underlying. I don't know what it is. But I speak to it in the name of Jesus. And I say, be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Be bound in the, all the way to the pit of hell. All the way. And don't turn around. All the way. And don't come back in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Heal, hold, deliver, and receive it. In Jesus' name. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Can you get that oil Hallelujah. for me again? Woo. Woo, I says God, put your hands out towards the end of that deal that we talked about. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Let's put. Amen. Yeah, I want to do that. that sounds good. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, put your hands out towards Hina, if you would. Glory to God. Amen. And yes. Amen. Come up. Glory to God. Yeah, if a woman come up, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, someone get over here. Yeah, that's good. Just surround her. I, I really feel just like the, everyone here surrounding you. They're surrounding you with love. I see the Lord saying that his father heart is loosed. It surrounds you. It surrounds you. So, Father... The love within you, which is infinitely amazing, infinite in scope, we receive in Jesus' name 
your love going into this situation. Uh, Hannah was in the emergency room with uh, just recently. We just receive your healing love just going into this area. And we say all is well. We're such a good spirit here. I tell you, the love of God. I, I, I just sense, and someone else might have another word, but the love of God is so strong towards you. It is so strong towards you. It surrounds you. It protects you. It's a fire within you and a fire without. Zechariah 2.5. Father, we just thank you for the privilege to be vessels where this amazing love is loosed. In Jesus' name. We thank you. What? Anybody else have anything? I'm surrounding love. Break agreement with a lie that you're not enough. You are enough. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We receive that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We receive that in Jesus' name. Anyone else with anything? You can keep going. I'm going to pray for you, my brother. I'm going to pray for you. All right. Father, in Jesus' name. And that was a while ago we prayed to receive baptism of the Holy Ghost, right? Yes. That was, are you still speaking in tongues or not? Oh, yeah. All right, good. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Father, in Jesus' name, even that word came to Hannah, she's not enough, and she's more than enough. Yes. I, I hear the Lord saying that he's gifted you with strength. He's gifted you with empathy. I know you're a tough guy. You're going into law enforcement, whole deal. But I hear the Lord saying that you have a right to be more confident than you are. For the Lord says, I curse hesitancy. I curse a lack of confidence in you, son, for you're my son. And you've heard, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, someone has their father's eyes. Well, you have his eyes. And there's more of him in you than you realize. And the Lord says, every time you enter my word, Every time you pray in the Spirit, every time you look unto me, the Lord says, I'm cultivating. Whew. I'm cultivating the image in you. But it's not just any image, son. It's my image. I'm cultivating the image. You know, in law enforcement, you have to do this reg and get this and get this. I'm cultivating my image in you. And the Lord said, I'm setting you apart in confidence. So you will be without hesitation. What I speak, you'll do. What I speak, you'll know without thinking about it more and more and more. Is this God? It's not God. And the Lord says, I loose you as someone that's a leader that I'm raising up. That I'm raising up even in my body. For I can trust you. So the Lord says, trust yourself. Trust yourself. Weaknesses will be broken. For the Lord says, Whew, I've created you to be a leader, even in my body. And the Lord says, just let me cultivate it in all confidence. Confidence. Confidence in me. Whew, man, I sense Jesus so strong. Boy, I tell you what, this is glory to God so strong. I'm, I'm going to Glory to God. I'm going to pray for you, okay? And then here's the deal. Guys, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pray for him. Then I'm going to come back and pray for everybody here I haven't prayed for real quick. And then he's going to put, put oil all over these cloths, okay? All right, you're going to do that for me, okay? All right? Yeah, amen. amen. So, Father, in Jesus' name for David, we just say, just like David of old, Lord Jesus, who slew the lion and the bear. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, that did not come from himself. And we lose the name of David in the context of just an exemplifying, Lord God, I hear the Lord say, but even as you are drawing nigh unto him, the Holy Ghost is drawing nigh unto you. And the Lord's saying, I'm changing things that you haven't been able to change for years. I'm changing it. And sometimes you've even said, 
you know, Lord, I'd like a change of address. But, ooh, but listen, to, oh my. Okay. <laughs> and the Lord says, the Lord says, I can do that, but you know what I'm doing? I'm changing you. For the Lord says, you're looking to me. And the Lord says, I love it. I love it because you're saying mm, more and more of you, Lord, and less of me. You're saying, Lord, make me the person I'm mm, meant to be. And the Lord says, I am. I have done it and I am doing it. I'm doing it. And it's coming to pass, says God. Woo, glory. Well, hallelujah. This, this is flow some of this. Let's just flow this all over the place. I don't even know how this is. Uh, how about you do that? And I'll take some. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You never know what the oil's going to do. Amen. Hallelujah. The river flows where it wants. Amen. Glory to God. Woo. Hallelujah. Lord says more, more, more with no sorrow added to it. Isaiah 41, there's a scripture that says, I will make you a threshing machine with teeth. And that's what he's doing. And the Lord says, little hills will not be able to stand before you and large mountains will move in a very quick fashion before you and your house. And Father, we anoint Heather in the car for David in Jesus' name, her beloved husband. And we say, oil of God. And all humility and faith that you've put in us, we receive the oil taken over David. Whoo! Taking him over. Stop it, get stomach. Come forth in Jesus' name. Be that which is not. Be. Come into being. For you, David, are fresh. You're a breath of fresh air. You're a blue sky on a sunny day. You're someone I need on this earth for now. I lose you. Ooh, I call you blue sky. I call you blue sky on a sunny day. I call you breath of fresh air. For so you are. Ooh, and, and I tell you, for mama, I tell you what. The Lord is so pleased with you. You're seeing the fruit of your labors. And the Lord says, even as the devil tried to come against you, even to bring harm, even, even to your head, the Lord says, that is broken completely. And the Lord says, I'm going to cause you to be head over people seeking me. You'll lead a study that will lead them right in to growth in Jesus. For the Lord says the enemy has come against your head because he saw that you're to be the head of difference of a study that brings to young women and older everybody a spirit, a pathway of life in Jesus' name. In the 30 days I spoke to you, 30 days. It's being loosed right now in the spirit realm. And the devil cannot stop it because God has spoken it. God has spoken it. God has spoken it. And it rains because God has spoken it. Woo, I'm just going to come around real quick, okay? Not just such a good spirit. Just stay with me. Blessing of God in the name of Jesus. Woo, boy, such a good spirit. Good ground, huh? Glory to God. Grow in the name of Jesus. You say, I have grown. What are you speaking about? The Lord says, it's one thing to have grown, but it's another thing to be a tree with branches where many will come and sit and nest in. The Lord says, I'm leading you and growing you in that way. For the Lord says, whew, the best is yet to come. The Lord says, wow. Mm, he's loosing to you what destiny really entails in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessing of God. Really? Boy, some of you guys are such good ground. Seriously. You know, I've been in churches before 
that I'm always going like this. And they're thinking, wow, you dancing? I said, no, I'm just trying to break the ice. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. You guys are such good ground. I say to the Lord, say, see the delight. See the delight I have in you. For the Lord says, I've made you a mouthpiece to speak, not only to people, but the spirits in heavenly places that would bring harm to many, from teens to families, even to communities. I made you to be a mouthpiece to speak even to principalities, says the Lord. Ooh, man, I tell you, there's a blessing on you, brother. I tell you what, you got a whole lot more than you. I tell you what, I, I'm, I don't know everything, but I can sense faith. And I tell you, there is faith in you. There really is. I, I tell you, I hear the Lord saying, I, I, when you first came in, I heard the Lord saying for both of you guys that he is so pleased. You are prototypes. You are prototypes of what it means to seek God. And the Lord says he's done things that only he could do inside of both of you. But the best is yet to come. For the Lord says, you have let me plow and take out certain things. And you have positioned yourself for harvest in a way that certain things will never, ever approach you again. And the Lord says, man. Ooh. Man, the harvest within your spirits is coming up richly. I mean, it's like ember, you know, yeah, that, you know, America the beautiful ember, you know, grain. Oh my gosh! Wow, wow! And sometimes the enemy just doesn't like you, but who cares? The Lord says, "When you speak, I hear. When you ask, I do. So speak more, ask more." For the Lord says, I love your spirit. Both. The Lord says, I'm doing things in you that you never dreamed. And the Lord says, it's only the beginning. Man, you will touch many lives. Glory to God. Can you put your hands out towards these guys? Amen. I tell you, such a good heart. No hindrances. No hindrances. There have been times where the enemies tried to come against you and just, 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 just bring hurtful things. And the Lord says, no hindrances to desires coming forth. For the Lord says that even the cross that you wear shines unto those who don't know me. Man, I, I tell you, the Lord says, I'm increasing expectations for yourself. Increasing expectations. Say, Lord, I will enter into the word and I'm just going to see the glory of God. I want to enter into this desire being fulfilled, this desire being fulfilled, and this desire being fulfilled. For the Lord says, even as you have let me heal you and touch you, the Lord says, I'm bringing you forth to be touched more and more. Whew, I see you running in an open field. The sun is shining brightly. There's like stalks of corn. It's, it's, it's awesome. Man, it's amazing. And the Lord says, you will bring hope to many. You will bring hope to many. Whew, and glory to God, we say no sorrow, no harm to the woman of God. I hear the Lord saying again, I love it when you come to me. And then many, the enemy have said different times, well, you've come, but did this really happen or this happened? And you said, yes, it has. And the Lord says, Whew, there's something that he is breaking in you that you can be so free and know that nothing of harm will touch you. I mean, I just see you, mm, Jesus. The Lord says, I'm speaking freedom. Freedom to every area of your life. For the Lord says, you're someone that cries out and says, Lord, I want, I want so much who you are and the Lord says I am bringing it to pass for every time you speak I listen boy this is a strong anointing Woo! glory to God glory to God can you guys stand up hallelujah if you can amen thank you Jesus Woo! Jesus 
Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. People are saying, can I have oil? Yes, amen. Well, the scripture says, you know what? If you need oil and I have, it's kind of too late, right? No, no I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I didn't say that. I'm just kidding. Yes, is there oil to pour on this port in the bag? Amen. Amen. Seriously. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Guys, there's something special about this meeting. Hey, John, in the name of Jesus, you need to come up real quick. I, need to, I just need to touch you. Amen. If you need cloths to, send, to put on somebody's head, I had a guy I used to teach with, and he took a cloth for his wife. She had cancer. I don't believe she has it anymore. But he said he just, uh, I don't know, he couldn't find her one morning. So he put it on himself. And he said, you know, when he woke up for years, he couldn't breathe, you know, had to struggle breathing. He said he woke up and could breathe completely well. Amen. Glory to God. I, I, I tell you, I, I hear the Lord saying, you're not forgotten, not left out. So the Lord says, you're stepping forward. And I love it. And the Lord says to know this, demons are separating. They're going to the left and to the right. And there's a path being made for you, John, who that you know not of. But the Lord says, it's my path, and you are falling. Man, I, I tell you, I, there's something just very special about this meeting. This is the holiness here. So can we just do something to close? I know it's a little different. Oh, my. D just raise your hands or however you want to do. I feel like the Holy Spirit is, Holy Spirit is loving this. He loves to come where there's good ground, where he's invited. Oh, my. Holy Spirit. Just let him come to you one more time. One more time. And as you speak, that the oil, the anointing went into you tonight and tomorrow morning and the coming day, I tell you what, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. that what you've been anointed for will be in you manifested. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy. Holy. Holy is the Lord. I hear the Lord saying, nobody can stand in my presence. No one can have my life go into them and not be free. Receive of my presence for unholiness cannot stand. Curse, sickness cannot stand in my presence. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. For you are my beloved and I know that I'm yours. Whew, man, I, I just don't want to leave this, but I, we have to. But there's just a spirit of holiness here. My goodness. My goodness. The spirit of holiness. My, my, my. We say, Father, in Jesus' name, that freedom has been loosed by you. And no bondage will come back. It is broken fully. For he whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Father, again, we marvel. Wow. Oh, my. Help us, Father, to be awed by your glory. As we go home, let the glory fill our cars. And let us know as never before that the image that you died for that's now in us Amen. is taking hold and manifesting. So it's not us who live, but Christ who lives in us. Spirit, soul, and body. To your glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If someone's... 
God is opening up a job opportunity for someone even as we speak. I don't know if it's a teaching deal, or, but God's opening up a job opportunity even as we speak. I think it has something to do with teaching. I don't know if it's education. I don't know. But God's opening that up for somebody. He's opening it up for somebody. Is that you? Anybody can think it's somebody? It might be you. Ooh, okay, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. He's opening it up. A lot happens when the oil rains. Amen? Amen. Really? He's opening it up. Wow, I just saw it. It's like, wow. I saw, man, people going to the side just to get to you. And uh, wow, we just thank you for the gift that you are, the gift that you have, and God opening up things for you so the gift can be loosed and manifested. Wow, my goodness. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yeah. We need to stand in for Kim. We need to stand in for Kim. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Amen. Put your hands up. We just need to stand in for one more person that has uh, tumors on their head. Yeah. Mm. Let everybody lay their hands on it. Everybody lay their hands if you would. Father, the anointing going in right now, it goes right through this plastic. The anointing going through these hands goes into this head in the name of Jesus. Devil, we know you hate it. Father, we receive in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Yes, Lord. Father, healing is now for Kim and Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. She is Amen. Victimization broken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Victimization has been replaced by true identity in Jesus' name. Ooh, I sense God. Anything can happen in an environment like this. Can I want to thank you so much for coming. Woo, amen. Who, who's this? Amen. Okay, somebody else to pray for before we leave? Amen. Can we pray for you? Sure. Okay, we'll be praying for you. Only if I can pray for you. Sure, we'll be praying for you. No, you didn't hear me right. Yeah, sure, you can pray after we pray, sure. Because I'm going to show you something different tonight. Mm -hmm. Your congregation needs to yeah. gather around you and pray for yeah. you as the leader because yeah. you need strength yeah. yourself. Yeah, well, we'll pray this. We'll pray for you and then I'm going to, all right, and then we're going to, then we're going to close and then Amen. people can want to pray, can pray. What's your first name? Joe. Joe, we just received blessing loose yes. to Joe in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, we Lord. thank you, Father God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We just loose God. I just sense Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You're just reigning, reigning, Glory reigning. Rest, thank you, rest, rest, rest. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. People can pray after I dismiss, okay? Can you just, and let me dismiss from right here, okay? Can, how do you, boy, do you sense his glory? And the next, I, I, guys, I get, next healing service, can you invite a couple of people? I just sense it's going to be overflowing, and something's, I just sense something crackling, like, you know, like a bonfire. So, I, let's just, can we confess this together? Whew, we can make a lot of confessions, but Father, we, we praise you. Father, we praise you. We declare. That where the Spirit of the Lord has been, liberty reigns. It cannot be stopped. Continue. Flow. Gain momentum. This momentum will not be stopped in Jesus' name. But it will be given away to the glory of God. Who tell somebody that Jesus has been in the house. Amen. Ooh, glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Wow. Amen. Yeah. I have something to show you. Yeah. You mentioned, well, let me see if I've got the right one. Hmm. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. You're fine. You mentioned a Weber. Oh, yeah.